Well, the group known as Campaign Against Arms Trade has brought this case at the High Court, calling into question the lawfulness of the decision taken by the British government in 2020 to continue selling arms to Saudi Arabia, which leads the coalition involved in the now nine-year-long Yemen conflict. Emily Apple, a spokesperson for the campaign group, has accused the British government of caring more about profit than war crimes. And the case is expected to detail a series of civilian deaths caused by airstrikes from the Saudi-led coalition, potentially using those UK-supplied arms. Now, this is just the latest move in the organisation's battle to stop the sale of arms to Saudi Arabia, which it says has made the UK more than $28 billion since the start of the war. The concern is that those arms are being used specifically in the Yemen conflict and therefore selling them with that knowledge to Saudi is potentially illegal because British law doesn't allow for selling weapons when there is a clear risk they may be used to carry out war crimes. This latest case comes after years of legal challenges starting in 2016 when the Campaign Against Arms Trade, which is a British-based group, uh, first filed an application for judicial review into the legality of UK arms sales to Saudi. Meanwhile, the United States has adopted a partial ban on weapons exports to Saudi Arabia because of the war in Yemen, but they've since permitted the sale of more than $4 billion worth of defensive systems. What is the British government's defence, Jonathan? Well, the British government obviously is fighting this in the court, and that means that they're unlikely to give specific commentary at this stage. But it has stopped sales in the past, after 2019, uh, when there was a court ruling which had said the government had made no attempt to find out if the Saudi-led coalition had broken international humanitarian law during the conflict, or if it was likely to do so in the future. But Britain resumed those arms sales in July 2020, saying it had satisfied itself that any Saudi violations of international law during the conflict in Yemen were simply isolated incidents. Earlier this month, a Department for International Trade spokesperson said, we consider all our export applications thoroughly against a strict risk assessment framework and keep all licenses under careful and continual review as standard. The UK has said repeatedly that the clear risk test has not been met. Britain is the second largest supplier of arms to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It sold the Saudi Air Force Typhoon and Tornado jets, spare parts and munitions. Uh, along, uh, among those sales uh, have been Paveway 4 bombs, Brimstone and Storm Shadow missiles as well. So this is obviously big business for the UK and that will be one of the motivating factors for them perhaps fighting this in the courts.